Wouldn't you love having your logo and your colors all in one easy to find place? Adobe actually has that built in to their design programs. Hi, I'm Kate Danielle and I help moms create digital products so they can think like a boss and play like a mom. Adobe has this wonderful thing that I really went too long without utilizing called the Creative Cloud Library or the CC Library. And it goes across multiple of their platforms. And basically you can create a library of all of your elements from colors to graphics like logos and icons that you use a lot to even how you style your fonts. And you can create as many libraries as you need. So this is great if you wanted to create it per brand or per product line. And what is really awesome is it works across the Adobe suite. So I can be working in Photoshop, save a color, and then the next time it is there ready for me to access in InDesign. So now let's jump in to the tutorial where I show you how you can set your own library up. Okay, so let's take a look at the Creative Cloud library. I am currently in InDesign, but you can access the Creative Cloud library in pretty much most of the Adobe um, programs. So it is here on um, the right hand side of my screen in the menu, but if for some reason you don't see it there, you can always come up and find it under Window. There are two really awesome things about the CC libraries. One is that you can access the same library across most of the Adobe programs. So for example, I work heavily with Photoshop, InDesign, and Illustrator, and I can access my libraries no matter which program I'm working on. And there are many types of elements that you can save into the library, such as colors, graphics, uh, text styles. Um, you can even save uh, layer styles, I believe, but that one in particular is only something you would use in Photoshop, so it wouldn't show up here working in InDesign. It's only going to show you things relevant to the program you're working in. The second thing I love about the libraries is that you can save multiple libraries. You can make as many as you want. So a good way to organize it may be um, based off client work. So maybe you do, um, so maybe you have several different clients that you do design work for and you can keep separate libraries with their colors, with their logos and graphics that you use in their designs over and over. Or you could even organize it by different product lines. So, you know, maybe you have a couple different lines of printable products that are in different colors and have different elements, you can group them that way. However way works best for you. Even if you don't work in um, multiple platforms, it's still great to have all of this already stored in here. Um, I need to actually get my logo in here because I don't have it in here yet, but you know, pretend this was my logo, then I automatically have it in any of the Adobe programs instead of having to go out um, you know, to my finder and find the logo file and open it up. And you can keep your colors here and it is just a super great time saver. So anytime that you might be using a color or a graphic or a brush or textile, more than once, just take the time to save it to your library. And it is really simple to do that. And I'll show you real quick. So let's say that I just, um, wanted to save this blue here. You can click on this little plus icon and it brings up the options for whatever is selected. So I have a graphic, which is the square, and the fill color. So I wouldn't want the graphic, so I would uncheck it and click add and that new color is up there. You can also just drag things, but it treats it as artwork when you drag. So this would be if you had graphics that you wanted to save, you can just drag them right in there and it will automatically save it. So now let's try to save a text style.
So I went ahead and set up my text. I spread it out a little bit. I'll make it a little bigger. Bring back up the library. And you can see it gave me a choice of character style and paragraph style. And so now, you could just highlight your text and then click on the style in your library and it automatically makes it match. If you're not familiar with character styles, that's something that I um, will talk more about in future videos. I just wanted to show you the benefits of utilizing the Creative Cloud library in one platform and especially across multiple platforms. So now I'll show you in Photoshop, I'll just open up a document. And this is my library's box down here. And you can see the new color is there and the textile is there and the artwork is there. So it's just wonderful. And then again, if you don't see that in Photoshop, you can always come up to window and the library is there. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to set up color swatches in InDesign. Because even though now you're going to start saving your colors to your CC library, it is still important to know how to set up swatches, um, I think, for better uh, design flow in some of the Adobe design platforms. Um, but until then, in the comments below, let me know how you plan on using the CC library. Before you head off to set up your own CC library, be sure to take advantage of my free guide for InDesign. Get started with InDesign. It will walk you through the basics of creating your very first digital product.